What's going on guys? So in the most recent update for the Facebook iPhone and iPod Touch application, it was discovered in the file system and deep within all the code that there was actually an unreleased iPad and iPad 2 specific Facebook application. We've all been waiting for the iPad to get Facebook support for some time. We've all had sort of the crappy, you know, um, iPhone specific application that we've had to use on our iPad and uh, not the best in the world. And uh, so I'm going to show you how you can get the iPad specific Facebook application right now for free on your iPad or iPad 2. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have the Facebook application already installed and you're going to need to make sure the version is 3.4.4 on the Facebook um, application itself. So if you already installed it, go to your updates and it should be there and update it to 3.4.4. Um, if you are installing it for the first time, you shouldn't have any problems. It should already be 3.4.4. So once you make sure that your Facebook is updated, go ahead and uh, you're going to need to have an iPad that is jailbroken. If you're not sure how to jailbreak your iPad, I'll have some annotations on the screen or some links down in the underbar to where you can jailbreak your iPad. Um, after it's jailbroken, go ahead and just open up Cydia. Hopefully this won't take too long to load here. And uh, I already have it saved on here, um, but the application we are going to search for is called Face Forward. It should already be in Cydia. Just go ahead and search for it. And once it comes up, it will look something like this. It is by CH Pone. He has a whole bunch of different um, Cydia applications and tweaks. And uh, just has a nice description down here of what it is. It talks about re-enabling the Facebook app um, on the iPad and all that good stuff. Um, I won't bore you with that. I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Go ahead and click install and then confirm. Just let it go ahead and uh, install onto your iPad. And once it's done, it will ask you to either reboot or respring. Um, whatever it asks, just uh, do it. And once it is all done, you can go ahead and slide to unlock here and go on the Facebook app and you should have the new iPad specific Facebook application all ready for you to use. That's it. That's all you have to do. Go ahead and log in and uh, you're good to go. You can try out the new Facebook iPad app and uh, hopefully they'll come out with this soon. I haven't played around with it much, but post a comment down below letting us know what you think, if it worked and uh, what the iPad Facebook app uh, is all about. Let us know how it works and if you like it or if you don't. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment down below. Let me know and I will do my best to help you out. It shouldn't be all that difficult, really just a two-step process. You click install and then you respring. Not that hard at all. Um, but again, if you need any help, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.